Hey guys, this is Nate Makes Things, also known as Nate Naderson, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic platformer in Game Maker 8. So, first thing we're going to do real quick is uh, make a couple of sprites. I'm just going to make a couple placeholders here. Uh, here's one for the character, just a block for now, a 16 by 16 block. Or, yeah, that's for the character. And we'll just duplicate it to save time and make the block. And I guess I'll just colorize it red for now. Alright, uh, first we're going to make a new script. I'll call it script. Um, I don't know, control. That seems to work. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, toggle the gravity. So what we're going to do is put in if place free and that checks if there's a solid at a certain position x y plus one so one pixel below you pretty much then we're gonna put in curly brackets gravity equals and I'm just gonna use 0 0.5 because that's usually what people use for their examples and else not s lay else gravity equals zero so basically if there is empty space directly below you, one pixel below you, the gravity will be turned on and it will be 0 0.5. Else, so if you're on a block pretty much, gravity will equal 0, so uh, you won't be forced down. But there's another uh, there's another trigger we're going to have to put in uh, that has to do with gravity in just a bit. Alright, now for the keyboard control. If keyboard check direct. Now there's a couple different keyboard checks. There's keyboard check pressed and there's just keyboard check but uh, there's a couple others too. There's uh, released also. Keyboard check pressed uh, will only pretty much like trigger once per time that you push the button and then released is the same thing but only when you release it. Now direct will check every single frame so if you hold down the button it will keep doing uh, this uh, effect every frame. So if keyboard check direct, and then for key, we're going to put VK right for the right arrow key. And you put two ampersands, place free, X plus four, so four pixels in front of you. Now you don't have to use um, four, but uh, it's good to uh, do like two, four, eight, uh, 16, um, just because that is rounded off to the size of the blocks that we're using. Um, once you get into more uh, advanced uh, game maker, you'll probably learn that if you use like an odd number, it won't match up exactly to the block and might cause some problems. Um, but uh, once you learn some more advanced techniques, uh, you'll probably find out how you don't have to use these numbers. But for now, it's just recommended. So four pixels in front of you is free. Also, you got to put the Y variable. Even if you're not using it, just put just Y. Then you're going to move four pixels to the right. So X plus equals four. So now for the left arrow key, actually to save time, why not just copy that? If keyboard check VK left and place free X minus four, so four pixels to the left, X minus, minus equals four. So you'll go uh, four pixels to the left when you press the left arrow key. Now for jumping, this is a little bit different. <clears throat> if keyboard check pressed. Now you can use direct for this, but I highly recommend just using pressed so you can't just hold the button and keep jumping automatically. But depending on uh, how you're using jumping, I'm sure you'll figure out some other way to do it differently. But for now, we're just going to use pressed. And um, you, uh, I'm just going to go with... Well, you can use like VK space and stuff, or VK up. Um, but uh, just to show you how to do this, I'm gonna actually use a letter. So uh, how about Z? You're gonna put O R D, and then uh, in parentheses you're gonna put or parentheses, sorry, you're gonna put ORD and then a uh, a quotation mark, and then Z or whatever letter, and then two um, close parentheses. And exclamation uh, exclamation point place free. So 
that uh, mark right there, this is pretty much if not. So if the place isn't free below you. It's uh, a very useful thing to do. Uh, now, of course, you can also do like place meeting and then just uh, look at the specific object. But uh, for this example, I'm using place free. And then x, y plus, uh, y plus 1, so 1 pixel below you again. V speed, so your vertical speed will equal negative, uh, well, for negative, that means up, so we'll go with negative uh, 8. Now, if you use a positive number, that actually shoots you down, and we don't want that, obviously. Okay, so I think that's all we're going to need for this script. So now we're actually going to create the objects. Here's our character object, object character. We're going to have to put a couple of uh, events into this. So you're going to have step, and put in your code, and then another one which is uh, going to be collision, and we're actually going to have to make the block object real quick, so object block. You don't have to put any events or actions into this one but just make sure that you check solid since it's a solid object and place free checks for solid objects okay so now with the collision with the block we're just gonna put move oops, contact I can't <laughs> I can't spell today or speak uh, move contact solid then you're gonna put, you're gonna put direction comma uh, for max distance we're just gonna go with V speed for this but if you have your character uh, set at a maximum v-speed, which I'll teach you how to use later, uh, you can just put that in. But that's going to be for a future, t future tutorial. We're just uh, learning the basics today. And then you're going to put v-speed equals zero and gravity equals zero. Alright, so that's for the collision with the block. Now we're going to make a room, my favorite part of this. And I'm just going to make the background white and put in a few blocks just to show you how to do this. Not sure if you'll actually be able to jump that high. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, that should be good enough for now. And then put in the character object here. Alright, so. Now we're going to just press F5 to test our game. Or since that key doesn't seem to be working right now, we're just going to click the green arrow. Alright, and here is our game. Very, very basic graphics, but it works. It only took a few minutes to do all this, so Game Maker is very easy to learn, uh, even if you're scripting. Of course, this tutorial is mainly recommended for people who have been using Game Maker for a while and want to learn uh, GML, but uh, this is our platform engine so far. So join me next time and uh, we'll continue to add on stuff to our platformer and learn other various things in Game Maker. So until next time, this is Nate Makes Things, also known as Nate Naderson also known as Waste of a Channel, also known as Nate Weisel, also known as FD Tunes Man. I don't even know what other names I go by, but I'll see you next time in our next tutorial.